Hello there, Virgo, and welcome to your tarot forecast for the week of October 13th through the 19th. I'm using my Shadowscapes tarot deck this week, and so let's get right to it. On Monday, what we have is we have a tower card coming up for you. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I don't really like seeing the tower card. I know it's the beginning of a long-term transformation for the good, but it starts off very suddenly um, and a little bit um, unsettling as this comes along. So the tower card really talks about something changing suddenly. This is a situation that you have in your life where you feel like you're very safe and secure and like it could go on indefinitely. There really is no end in sight to it. And in fact, you're so safe and secure in this situation that you really haven't been looking around at some of the other options that you could be um, doing instead of this. So this situation has sort of in that way become a bondage to you because it's been holding you back from growing. So what happens on Monday is that suddenly, kabam, that situation is going to be ejecting you. And so, like I said, very dis unsettling situation whenever this happens, but it does give you the chance to look around for other opportunities to replace that situation. And what you end up finding generally as you look around for other opportunities is that there are much better ways to fill that hole than what you were doing before. So if in the long term it is a good thing, but for right now, uh, put the seatbelt on. It's a little bit alarming. Okay, so Tuesday, what we have is we have a Four of Cups showing up for you. Tuesday, this just shows me that you are very restless. You're feeling like you aren't being, um, you aren't using all of your potential. You're feeling like there's just so much more that you could be doing. And so this type of restlessness really, this is the type of restlessness that causes us to start putting in job applications for new places or going for promotions. Um, also, this can be something that might, Maybe we're getting restless in our relationship and we would like for it to progress a little bit forward. So either way, that restlessness I feel like could be coming up for you in either different direction in your life right now, Virgo. Although I think for probably 70 to 80 percent of you, we're looking more at a job sector type restlessness than a relationship sector. Excuse me. Okay, so um, that's Tuesday. So on Wednesday, what we have is we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a really, really nice card to get. This just means that on Wednesday, we are going to be receiving something, something nice, something that we like. It's a right side up card. It's a positive thing. We are going to be receiving something that we did not earn. It's something that comes in by grace, by favor. Somebody just wants to give it to us, and so they do. So this is what's happening on Wednesday. Wednesday we are receiving some type of gift, some type of something coming in that we did not earn but that we really love and appreciate. Okay, so Thursday we have the Knight of Wands coming up in reverse. Now the Knight of Wands in reverse really talks about that this is a day that we let our guard down a little bit. This is a day that we're going to make ourselves a little bit more vulnerable than what we usually do in one way or another. For a lot of us, this is relationship. Maybe we found somebody that we really feel like we can trust. This could be a good friend. This could be even a romantic partner. This could be somebody in the family that we're starting to um, feel a little closer to them, like they're a little bit more trustworthy with our secrets, with our vulnerabilities, and so we're allowing them to see some of those that before, um, nope, total defense, shut the door down, nobody gets to see beyond this point. <laughs> so today we're being vulnerable, we're being more open than what we have been. Now, let's see, that was Thursday, Friday, oh, I love this card, you guys, you got the fool, yay for you, Virgos. And this is really out of character for you, Virgos, from what I have known of Virgos. But the Fool is just talking about a situation where there is something that you know that you know that you know how to handle. But what you know is not logical at all. So it's hard to even explain to yourself. <laughs> Why am I so drawn to handle this in this particular way? Much less to explain it to friends and get any support on it. So that makes it kind of tricky to actually enact what you know that you know that you know. But it looks like you're taking that leap of faith on Friday and you're going ahead with what you know that you know that you know you should do about this situation and you're just trusting the universe that, okay, well, this this knowing came from the universe and so I'm going to trust the universe to have my back on this. And so you just leap out there. You take what I call that leap of faith and just expect the universe to hold you up.
And that is the beginning of a most fabulous journey. Congratulations to you, Virgo. Now, Saturday, we have something coming up. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. Now, the Seven of Wands, when it comes up right side up, says, take a stand. But when it comes up reverse, <laughs> it doesn't mean take a stand. It means you've been taking too much of a stand. It's time to back it down. As they would say in the military, stand down, put your arms down, put your weapons down. It's time to make peace, time to be friendly, time to let things go by. So the time for taking a stand is over. Now it's time to make peace. Okay, so then the next card that comes up is for Sunday. Woohoo! You guys are lucky. This is the card everybody wants to get. It's the lover's card. So this just talks about that Sunday is going to be, um, well, it could be one of a few things. For many of you, it's going to be a nice romantic day where you have some special time with that loved one and you just get to have some time out just to share with each other, just to sh enjoy each other's presence for a few sweet moments at least. Um, for others of you, this is going to be a um, really good time with friends, you know, more friendship relationship than romantic. And for others of you, I'm feeling like the smaller percentage, maybe like 5 to 10 percent of you, this is going to be a Sunday of just enjoying your own company and relaxing and being glad to be away from the world and just kind of decompressing. So anyway, a great way, anyway you slice it, to handle a Sunday, great way to end the week. For those of you who would like to schedule a session with me, check out my website, www.amista.info. There you can see what services I offer and whether I'm actually the right psychic for you or not. There is a schedule a reading page you can take advantage of. Once you contact me, then we can set up a time for your personal session. Everybody have a great week. For those of you who don't schedule a session, I'll talk to you next week. Peace out.